Now, most pumps, when they go bad, they don't set codes. Bad relays set codes. Open circuits set codes, but a bad pump itself does not set a code, typically. So, let's do some more research on what we need to do to make sure we've got a bad pump and not a problem with the vehicle. And to do that, we look at the open circuit voltage, OCV. Basically, if we unplug the pump and put our meter with the proper terminals into the side of the harness that goes up to the PCM, we should see a certain amount of voltage. Compare that amount of voltage to what's available at the battery, and that gives you a general overall voltage drop. If the battery is 12.44, and we're seeing 12.04 at the pump, open circuit, the pump's not running, but the key's on, the pump's unplugged, it can't be running, now we've got four tenths of a volt of voltage drop, and that's acceptable. If we saw four volts, not four tenths, not 0.4, but 4.0, that would be excessive, hugely excessive voltage drop, and you wouldn't condemn the pump, you'd fix the wiring problem first. Now, if you did say, let's see, two, three volts of voltage drop or more, we certainly then want to do a test on which side of the circuit the voltage drop is. So what we then do, is with either a load tool, which is very similar in resistance, let's say an ohm or so, of resistance, so that we have something that's like the fuel pump electrically, or if the fuel pump is okay, and you can hear it run and make some pressure, you might go ahead and elect to leave the fuel pump plugged in, but either way, with the substitute load or the fuel pump itself, you're going to measure voltage between a good positive source, the battery post would be the best, and the positive feed to that pump. And you're looking for less than a tenth, two tenths, three tenths, a half a volt typically is our max number. Doing the same thing between a good chassis ground and the ground to the pump. With the pump running or a substitute load, more safe to do that because it, you know it's gonna draw a correct amount of current, but make sure it's about a one ohm load. That's gonna make that circuit tug 12 or 13 or 14 amps, depending on the voltage of the battery. And that will tell you if we've got a good or bad voltage drop. Remember, a half a volt or less is what we typically want to see. Definitely not a volt or two or three volts.